As we look at the chart, the set of bars on the left shows the funding divided between funds obtained by Caltrain, we call them matching funds, in the amount of $750 million. They are colored yellow and the Prop 1A funds colored blue. There are two categories of Prop 1A funds, high-speed rail funds in the amount of $600 million and connectivity funds in the amount of $106 million. Since the matching funds are a bit larger than the Prop 1A total funds, all looks to be okay. However, of the Prop 1A funds, only the connectivity funds, this $106 million, can be used for non-high-speed rail projects. Only these funds can be used to help fund the EMUs for Caltrain. There is an agreement on this issue in testimony from the CEO Morales and Chair Richard and in accordance with the opinion letter from the Legislative Council. This then leads to the second set of bars, which then show the matching funds have been reduced to $416 million, whereas the high-speed rail funds are reduced to only $600 million. At this point, the yellow matching funds are less than the high-speed rail funds, and under Prop 1A, this is not allowed. Moving to the third set of bars, I added the fact that they are going to, uh, going to fund the positive train control system, CBOS, and this also must be considered a non-high-speed rail item since it is not compatible with the PTC system employed on the high-speed rail train sets. Therefore, just like the EMUs, it is of use only to Caltrain. At this point, the matching funds are reduced to only $185 million compared to the $600 million in high-speed rail funds. The final point being made here is that any board member who votes to approve this MOU is, with their vote, ignoring either the matching fund requirement of Prop 1A or he is saying it is okay for the Prop 1A high-speed rail funds to be used to fund EMUs and or CBOS positive train control system.